Hi, welcome to this painting video for the Pennanted engine. You can see here I've got them built and primed black so far. Now these are actually built um, as a part of another video on my channel and I've put them with the heavy bolters and the flails considering that was the, the best option for these. Now the, the guys that are inside um, I haven't glued so they can take out and I can switch them if I wanted to also so I can paint them separately. And the way the model is built is really good because the the arms and the flails can be immovable as well. So I'll do the silver and we can see how that looks after that point. So after priming this with Chaos Black, I've gone over with a lead belcher dry brush and it's created quite a nice effect on it, um, giving it a nice silver feel. Because it's black first, you've got some nice um, tones on the, the recesses. I've also done the figure, so that which is done separately, so that it makes it easier, to, and then I'll put it in later. So the next step would be to, in this panelling down the sides here, to do some browns. Um, a lot of the um, raised metal, the spikes, is a bronze. And there's also going to be some bronzing on the edges of these flails. So I think what I'll do next is the bronzing and the browns, and then we'll see how that looks. So at this first stage, I've done the brown panelling just on the sides with Gawthor Brown. I will be doing some detailing on those as well. And then the rest of the model I've gone over with Balthazar Gold. As you can see, most of the detail on this model is from Balthazar Gold. And there's lots of bits on the back, on the arms, even on the bullets, on the flails. The next stage I'm going to go over with the white, probably pallid with witch flesh to do the flames, to base them ready, to do the purity seals, um, and I think that's it on the white. I can then paint the um, the red seals themselves on the purity seals. Now you can use a Mephiston red. I'll probably use corn red because it's a bit richer and with a bit of null all over the top of it, it looks quite nice. I'm not doing any washes at this stage. And from the box art, the bullets have also got um, red strapping going around there, so I'll probably do that as well with Mephiston Red. So I'll come back with the white and the red done. Um, the flames themselves I do using some of my flame tutorial. So I just use Yield Yellow, Troll Slayer Orange, Mephiston Red and maybe a bit of Bad and Black just for the tips. You can look at the other videos for that, so I'll do that as well. With those bits of detail done, I've um, not done any washes, so things like the Purity Seals will get a Seraphim Sepia wash. The flames have been done using the flame patterns from my previous videos. I've actually gone a bit of null oil on there just to darken them down. I felt they were a bit too bright. And then while I had the reds out, I did some of the red wiring on the back. On the bullet strap here, I used a Contrast Blood Angel red on there. I like using some of the contrast. Same for some of the black detailing on the gun. I used the Black Templar contrast paint. Looks pretty nice. I was batch painting, so I did both, both the same. So now what's left is the, the two figures and all I've got on these as well is a dry brush with a silver, mainly just for the metal parts. So the first thing I'll do is bring out all the flesh with Cadian Flesh Tone um, and then they've got a grey jumpsuit on so I'll give them a, a grey outfit. There's a bit of um, a plank of wood behind this lady's arms here so that'll be brown and there's a lot of brass elements so I'll do that, the buckles, the, the padlocks some of these uh, bolts that go around the outside. And there's also some red um, straps and red uh, cabling on the top here. So I'll do those little bits in red. So lots of small detail work. We'll come back when that's done, you can see, and then there'll be, there'll be an extra step as well, I believe. So I've done the two pilots now. Like I said, with all the base colors, again, no washes just yet. I use Celestial Gray for the prisoner's suits. And I've got Balthazar Gold, any lead belcher on the silvers. And I've also used Mephiston Red and a Yield Yellow just on the side here just to do some of the extra colours. You can see some of the blue on the, the edges of these injectors. And that was a contrast arithmetic blue. I think a Soulstone Blue might look quite good on that as well. And really it's just about... Um, taking the time. So like I said, I did the, the Canadian flesh tone first, a couple of thin coats, then the celestial grey, and then I went around and neatened up all the silver, then I did the reds, 
golds and so on. So now for some washes, I'm going to do some null nile across the model, some serif and sepia on the whites, Raycon flash shade on the gold and on some of the face and the, the legs and body just to see how that looks. And then I'm also going to base it. So I've got some base ready stuff that I like to use. So I'm just going to put some PVA glue, spread that on and I'll do a black rim on the bottom as well. And then we'll see that. And I believe that once that's all done, the model's done to the standard I'm expecting for this video. There's a lot of edge highlighting that can be going on as well. But that's for another video. So the model's completed now. You can see my base ready contents. I've done some little bits of writing on the scrolls. The figure's now been put inside there. All the washes have been done. And the second one. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Subscribe to the channel for more like this. Thanks very much.